You could be making a big mistake by avoiding the Honda CR-V when searching for your next SUV. Because while big sellers like the BMW X3 and Kia Sportage are definitely very good, this all-new plug-in hybrid CR-V has many features that means those cars and the rest could be beaten. We're going to find out if this family car is practical, spacious and easy to live with, especially for dog owners. And we're going to look at some of its quirkiest features, including a sneaky way to keep an eye on snotty-nosed or furry passengers. Now this interior screen functionality although it doesn't compromise entirely on form plus it has loads of technology including Honda's latest infotainment system which I have to say is one of the easiest to use on the market it's so simple to navigate and also you get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well also ahead of you is a digital instrument cluster which is just super sharp and so easy to read they really thought about usability here and then elsewhere in the cabin functionality is where you want it to be for example on the climate control dial down here now plenty of brands are throwing these into the infotainment system and that can get quite annoying and fiddly but Honda has retained proper dials so even when you're wearing gloves on a cold day like today you can still adjust your climate control and press the buttons very easily and that's also true for your steering wheel buttons as well which are nice and chunky it's easy to control your media from here as well as your driver assistance functions of which there are many and also crucial for a day like today the heated steering wheel this button is massive so it means your fingers can be nice and warm from the get-go. Even though it's cheaper than the X3, this top-grade plug-in hybrid still gets heated and cooled front seats, wireless phone charging, and a powerful Bose sound system, as well as high-end materials like leather seats and soft-touch plastics. Plus, Honda's been very thoughtful when it comes to families. For example, you know when you get mucky legs because the sill is covered in mud? Well, that won't happen in the CRV because the door has a protective bit. That means the sills don't get muddy and neither do the back of your legs. Now, while this looks like a place to store your sunglasses, and yeah, you probably could get a small pair behind this visor here, actually what it is is a wide window of reflective view so you can spy on your kids in the back, or you can even have a peek and see how the dog's getting along in the boot. And look how wide these rear doors open. That is a full 90 degrees, which should make loading baby seats or booster seats into the back here much, much easier. But if you do find yourself in the back, there is actually plenty of space here. Loads of leg room, loads for your knees and loads for your feet. And you've also got creature comforts like two vents, two USB-C ports and three stage heated seats as well in this model. And if you find yourself sitting in the middle, well, it's not too bad at all actually. There is plenty of foot space, plenty of shoulder space, although it's a little bit slim in terms of height space, especially if you dress like a bank robber. And while most plug-in hybrid cars compromise on boot space because they've got big batteries under there, well, in this CRV, which has an electric tailgate, you don't actually lose anywhere near as much space as you'd think. In fact, you probably wouldn't lose any if you weren't used to this class because effectively you've got a lot of underfloor storage, certainly enough to swallow your charge cables down there so they're nicely hidden, leaving plenty of room up here. And if you have a furry friend, well, this guy here, who is about the average size for a UK dog, he fits in nice and comfortably, but crucially, this flat floor here, while it can be lowered, it can be flush to this section here. So hopefully, he'll happily jump in and sit there comfortably. But if you prefer loading suitcases, well, there's also loads of room for those. If I move him over, sorry mate, get this in here, there's plenty of room making this interior very practical indeed. Oh, and by the way, we haven't named our dog, so let us know in the comments below if you've got an idea for what we should call him. But for now, I think we can all conclude that this is a very sensible and mature Honda interior. And that maturity extends to the exterior, where the car has actually grown by 80 millimeters compared to the old one, although it's still a tiny bit smaller than the BMW X3, which should make it easier to park. Also, it's got a much more butch front end, and the tail is a proper chunky SUV design, so it feels butch and strong, and, well, a little bit American. See that high bonnet line and those side reflectors? They're straight from the US design playbook. Although, that doesn't necessarily mean it goes down a road like a lazy American tank. No, the CRV feels remarkably well tuned to British roads. And let me tell you why. But first, don't forget, when searching for your next car, make sure you check out cinch.co.uk or download our app, where you'll find lots of choice on there. Now, this CRV, thanks to its intelligent suspension, which adjusts for the road, is very, very comfortable, even on bumpy British tarmac. But yet, it still feels nicely controlled, so you feel very confident behind the wheel. And because this powertrain, this part two litre petrol engine and part electric powertrain is so effortless, it feels not only very efficient, but also 
super easy to drive. It doesn't matter what speed you're doing, whether you're moving in traffic or whether you're powering down the motorway, this thing feels like a much bigger engine and much more powerful car. Now you can run this car either in purely electric mode or you can leave it to its own devices so it automatically charges and switches between petrol and electric as it pleases. And that's especially useful if you're doing a longer drive. You can also charge the car as you're going so the engine effectively turns into a generator but the smartest way to drive this Honda CRV plug-in hybrid is to plug it in at home or wherever you can with a charge cable so that battery is full and able to give you the most efficient drive. You can, of course, also make the car even more efficient by making use of these paddles behind the steering wheel where if you click them up or down, you adjust how much the battery can take back in energy when you're slowing down. And that's gonna be really handy, not only to boost energy, but it also means you can start to employ one pedal driving as well. So you can coast up to, for example, a traffic jam and the car will just slow down for you. And while it's doing that, it's taking back energy. That's super efficient. It's so comfortable and so relaxing driving this car and very refined as well. These door mirrors are massive, but there's barely any wind noise and very little road noise. I could see myself doing hundreds of miles in this car and not feeling one bit worn out. That effortless feeling is maximized by a lovely elastic delivery of electric power because the CRV's hybrid setup uses the engine mostly to charge the batteries. Life behind the seat is then made even easier by a long list of driver assistance features built into the CRV base, including a lane keep assist feature that genuinely takes the effort out of steering on the motorway and no shortage of blind spot and parking cameras. And while unlike the hybrid CRV, this plug-in model is front wheel drive only, you can still tow 1.5 tons of brake trailer and if needs be, carry a roof box on those rails. So the all new Honda CRV plug-in hybrid feels like a great value offering to this segment, but if you want to see what a great value offering in the segment above looks like, click the link over here. Oh, and don't forget to add your suggestions for this dog's name in the comments below.